Welcome to this Node.js tutorial on server-side form validation. In this video, we will be discussing how to validate forms on the server-side using Node.js. Server-side form validation is essential to ensure the security and integrity of your web application. It involves validating the data submitted by the user on the server-side before processing it. Now let's start discussing these topics. So first we have goes to command prompt. And here we have goes to directory in which we will create node server side validation application. After this we have run this command which will create server side validation folder. And after this we have goes into this directory and now we want to download require node module. Under this directory, so here we have run this command, which will download Node Express module, MySQL module, Body Parser module, Express Validator module and AJS template engine. Now we have opened this directory, under text editor, and here first we have to create, app.javascript file. And after this, we have create views directory, because AJS template engine file will be store, under this directory. And under this views directory, we have create new contact.ajs file. So here we will create, contact form, for learn node server side form validation. Now we have open app.js file, and under this file, first we have to write. Express variable is equal to require method with express module, so it will import express module under this file. Below this, we have to write open and close bracket, and between this, we have to write check and validation result variable, and after this, we have to write require method with express validator. So this code will import express validator module under this file. After this, we want to import AJS template engine. So here we have to write AJS variable is equal to require method with AJS module name. Now we want to create instance of express framework. So here we have to write app variable is equal to express method which will create new instance of express framework. Next we want to set up AJS as template engine. So here we have to write app.set method with two argument so in first argument we have to write view engine and in second argument we have to write ajs which will set up ajs template engine after this we want to set up middleware for parsing json in request body so here we have to write app.use method and under this method we have to write express variable dot json method. Now we want to create root for load contact form in the browser. So here we have to write app variable dot get method with two argument. In first argument we have to write slash which is root path of this node application. And in second argument we have to write callback function with two argument like request and response variable. Under this callback function, we have to write response variable dot render method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write view file name contact and in second argument, we have pass in an object with an empty errors property. So it will load contact file in the browser. Now we have goes to contact file, and here we have paste this HTML code. After this, we want to create contact form. So here we have to write form element with method attribute is equal to post and action attribute is equal to slash send. So when form has been submitted, then it will send form data to send root of node application. Now for fill name details. So here we have to write. Input type is equal to text, name is equal to name, and class is equal to form control. 
After this, for fill email address details, so here we have to write. Input element, with type is equal to text, name is equal to email and class is equal to form control. Next for define subject details, so here we have to write. Input element, with name is equal to text, name is equal to subject, and class is equal to form control. And lastly, for define message details, so here we have to write. Text area element, with name is equal to message, and class is equal to form control. Now for submit form, so here we have to write, button element with type is equal to submit. With class is equal to, button, button primary, and button text, we have to write, send message. So here our form is ready, now before submit form data, we want to validate, that form data. So we have goes to app.js file, and here we have to create root, for handling form submission. So here we have to write, app variable dot post method, with three argument. In first argument, we have to write, slash root name send, which will receive contact form data. In second argument, we have to define validation rules. So first we want to validate, name field data, so here we have to write. Check method of express validator module, and here we have to write, name input field. After this, we have to write, not empty method, and after this, we have to write. With message method, with message like, name is required. So this code will validate a name field, and set this error message, if it is empty. After this, for check email input field data, so here we have to write. Check method, with input field name email, and after this, we have to write is email method, which will check email format, and after this, we have to write with message method, with message like, invalid email address. So this validation rules will check, email format, and if invalid email found, then it will set, this email address. After this, for validate subject input field data, so here we have to write check method, with input field name subject, and after this, we have to write not empty method, with with message method, with message like, subject is required. So this code will validate subject field data, and set error message, if this field value is empty. Lastly, we want to validate message field data, so here we have to write. Check method, with input field name message, with not empty method. And after this, we have to write, with message method, with message like message is required. So this code will validate message field data, and it will set error message, if this field value is blank. After define this validation rules, now we have write callback function, with request and response variable as argument. And under this callback function, first we want to check, any validation error has been occur or not. So here we have to write, errors variable is equal to, validation result method, with result variable as argument. This code will retrieve, the validation errors for a specific request. Below this, we have to write, if statement and under condition, we have to write, not operator, with errors variable dot is empty function. So this code will check, if any validation error has been occur, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, response.render method, with argument. In first argument, we have to write, views file name contact, and in second argument. We have to write, errors object, and with value like, errors.mapped function. So it will call view contact file, and pass error message as object, in errors property. Now for display validation error, so we have goes to contact view file. Now first, we want to display, validation error for name input field. 
So here, we have to write, open and close node expression, and between this. We have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Errors variable, and errors dot name variable, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And between this block, we have to create span tag, with class is equal to text danger. And for display name field error. So here, we have to write, node expression. And between this, we have to write, errors.name.message, which will display name field, validation error. After this, we want to display, validation error for email input field. So here, we have to write, open and close node expression, and between this. We have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Errors variable, and errors dot email variable, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And between this block, we have to create span tag, with class is equal to text danger. And for display error field error. So here we have to write, node expression. And between this, we have to write, errors.email.message, which will display email field, validation error. After this, we want to display, validation error for subject input field. So here, we have to write, open and close node expression, and between this. We have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Errors variable, and errors dot subject variable, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And between this block, we have to create span tag, with class is equal to text danger. And for display subject field error. So here we have to write, node expression. And between this, we have to write, errors.subject.message, which will display subject field, validation error. And lastly, we want to display, validation error for message input field. So here, we have to write, open and close node expression, and between this. We have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Errors variable, and errors dot message variable, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And between this block, we have to create span tag, with class is equal to text danger. And for display message field error. So here we have to write, node expression. And between this, we have to write, errors.message.message, which will display message field, validation error. So here, our code is ready. Now we want to check output in the browser. So first we have goes to command prompt. And here we have to run this command, which will start node server. Now here, in the browser, we have type localhost, with double colon 3000 port. So here, on web page we can see contact form has been display, on the web page. Now we want to validate this contact form data, at server side validation. So here we have click on submit button, so after click, on submit button. Here we can see that, validation error has been display, below each input field. So without proper data, this form data will not be submitted. So here we have validate form data, in Node.js by using express validator middleware. And after validating the data, we will then process the data, and send a response back to the user.
By the end of this tutorial, you will have a good understanding of how to validate forms on the server side using Node.js. So, let's get started.